Yahudith, Judith 11. Then said Holofernes unto her, Woman, be of good comfort, fear not in your heart, for I never hurt any that was willing to serve Nebuchadnezzar, the king of all the earth. Now therefore, if your people that dwell in the mountains had not set light by me, I would not have lifted up my spear against them, but they have done these things to themselves. But now tell me, wherefore you are fled from them, and are come unto us, for you are come for safeguard. Be of good comfort, you shall live this night, and hereafter. For none shall hurt you, but entreat you well, as they do the servants of King Nebuchadnezzar, my lord. Then Yahudith said unto him, Receive the words of your servant, and suffer your handmaid to speak in your presence, and I will declare no lie to my lord this night. And if you will follow the words of your handmaid, Elohim will bring one thing perfectly to pass by you, and my lord shall not fail of his purposes. As Nebuchadnezzar, king of all the earth, lives, and as his power lives, who has sent you for the upholding of every living thing. For not only men shall serve him by you, but also the beasts of the field, and the cattle, and the fowls of the air, shall live by your power under Nebu Kadnetzetzar and all his house. For we have heard of your wisdom and your policies, and it is reported in all the earth that you only are excellent in all the kingdom, and mighty in knowledge, and wonderful in feats of war. Now as concerning the matter which Achior did speak in your council, we have heard his words, for the men of Beit Uliah saved him, and he declared unto them all that he had spoken unto you. Therefore, O Lord and Governor, respect not his word, but lay it up in your heart, for it is true. For our nation shall not be punished, neither can sword prevail against them, except they sin against their Elohim. And now, that my Lord be not defeated, and frustrate his purpose, rather, and frustrate of his purpose, even death is now fallen upon them, and their sin is overtaken them, wherewith they will provoke their Elohim to anger, whensoever they shall do that which is not fit to be done. For their victuals fail them, and all their water is scant, and they have determined to lay hands upon their cattle, and purposed to consume all those things, that Elohim has forbidden them to eat by his Torah, and are resolved to spend the first fruits of the tenths of wine and oil, which they had sanctified and reserved for the priests that serve in Yerushalayim, before the face of our Elohim, the which things it is against the Torah, for any of the people so much as to touch with their hands. For they have sent some to Yerushalayim, because they also that dwell there have done the like, to bring them a license from the Senate. Now when they shall bring them word, they will forthwith do it, and they shall be given to you to be destroyed the same day. Wherefore, I, your handmaid, knowing all this, am fled from their presence, and Elohim has sent me to work things with you, whereat all the earth shall be astonished, and whosoever shall hear it. For your servant is devout, and serves the Elohim of heaven day and night. Now therefore, my Lord, I will remain with you, and your servant will, servant will go out by night into the valley, and I will pray unto Elohim, and he will tell me when they have commanded rather, when they have committed their sins. And I will come and show it unto you. Then you shall go forth with all your army, and there shall be none of them that shall resist you. And I will lead you through the midst of Yahudah until you come before Yerushalayim, and I will set your throne in the midst thereof, and you shall drive them as sheep that have no shepherd. And a dog shall not so much as open his mouth at you. 
For these things were told me according to my foreknowledge, and they were declared unto me, and I am sent to tell you. Then her words pleased Holofernes and all his servants, and they marveled at her wisdom, and said, There is not such a woman from one end of the earth to the other, both for beauty of face and wisdom of words. Likewise, Holofernes said unto her, Elohim has done well to send you before the people, that strength might be in our hands, and destruction upon them that lightly regard my Lord. And now you are both beautiful in your countenance and witty in your words. Surely, if you do as you have spoken, your Elohim shall be my Elohim, and you shall dwell in the house of King Nebuchadnezzar, and shall be renowned through the whole earth. 